Um, uh, but uh, let's uh, welcome in uh, Representative Workman. Hello, sir. How are you? Well, hello, sir. Thanks for having me on today. I appreciate it. Well, it's my pleasure. All right. I, I, I want you to uh, tell the folks and a lot of the folks listening on our new, brand new affiliate today at WFTL know all about this. But around the country, a lot of people don't. There's a particular textbook. I believe it's uh, Prentice Hall World History, it's called. Um, and uh, it, uh, some of the things I've read from it relating to religion, uh, where Islam is basically the religion and the great religion, and everything else is either secondary or evil, and this is what our kids are, are getting taught. Yeah, it is very much unbelievable. And, and you know, it's, it's, uh, I'll start with this and tell you that I've gotten emails and letters from both sides those that want to blindly accept what I've said because they, 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 they hate all things Muslim. But the, one, and I cannot, the side that bothers me the most, although that one's terrible, are people that blindly say, leave the textbook alone, uh, let the progressive left run the show, they know better than you, you're, you're radical uh, Christian. And I've never proclaimed, say, it's anything to do with my politics. Right. And you're open was exactly right. You, sir, hit the nail on the head, and so many more others are missing it. It has very little to do uh, with whether or not we teach Islam in schools, because we have world religion class, and you would expect Islam to be taught in that class like every other uh, world religion. And in world history, you would not expect Islam to be skipped, because just like Christianity and Judaism and others, world religion changed history, right? My problem is, in this world history book, and I read it from start to finish, it whitewashes all things Muslim while being very honest about Christianity and Judaism. Let's be clear. The Crusades, a bit of a blemish on the Christian history, right? They were murderers. If you didn't proclaim your love of Jesus Christ, they massacred you. And that's said in the book. It, it, it's very clear. The, the First Crusade, they took over Jerusalem, um, and then it, the textbook says, and then um, uh, Jews and Muslims were massacred. Well, when Muhammad took over Medina, a turning point in the Islam faith, if you didn't follow Muhammad, what did he do? He massacred you. But what does the book say? The book actually says, and the masses, um, and forgive me for paraphrasing, I don't have the book in front of me today, um, uh, welcomed Islam and, and joyfully followed, followed Muhammad. Right. It, 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 mis- it, it takes two events that were, were, were to, 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 for lack of a better terminology, similar in nature, both bad, and, and, and made one into an evil event and, made the, uh, and, and sanitized the other one. Right. The PC America, yeah. the one that we're in now, yeah. um, says, do not offend Muslims. Do not offend anybody. Well, look, and, and so- you know, Rich, in, in various parts of this world right now. Uh, in fact, in many parts of this world right now, uh, if you're a Christian and you don't convert to Islam, or if you're just a Christian where they could kill you, they'll kill you, or burn your church, or if you dare convert from Islam to Christianity or another religion, they'll kill you. Uh, or, so, I mean, you know, what we, some things have, have not changed that, that much. Okay, so this is in Brevard County, um, or the Brevard School Board. Um, how have they reacted? We only have a couple of minutes left, and, and what, what's the next step here? Well, two school board members out of five have said they're going to look into it. They're having a follow-up meeting. Um, it is an approved textbook at the state level, and I intend to take uh, this to Tallahassee and get this book um, taken off the approved list. I have a meeting with the publisher very soon. I won't rest until this textbook. I got really angry when the publisher said, what? We're doing great. It's, it's not whitewashed. Um, they're calling the carpet. They, are, they should immediately pause and say, let's go look at this. They hired a cleric to edit the Muslim section. They did not hire a rabbi or a priest to edit anything. Well, that's what I was going to say. Do we know the name of the people who are responsible for writing this portion of the textbook, who, who, I, who did it for the company or, or whomever? I do, and um, I think I have that with me. All right, well, I, I, you know what? You, you could, we'll, we'll be in touch with your office, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure that uh, if you Google it, and if you have Googled it, you'll, 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 you, know, you might get some clue or some hint, and I'd be interested to see what you find. We're going to stay on top of this uh, along with, you know, the other people who have been interested in this story uh, because— I know we, we, yeah. I'm sorry, but I know we have a time delay, but you said something, and I have to tell go you ahead, go ahead. it's going to fire you up, and I'll do it very quickly. This text, and I'm going to quote the best I can from memory— actually says, and I'm going to do the best I can to quote, that before Islam, Muslim women were suppressed, and they weren't allowed to vote or go to school. But since Islam, women have become equal in the faith. 
And where yeah, and, and where would that be exactly? I don't know what country you're talking about. <laughs> in this country or in Islamic Sharia law countries where they practice it. Uh, that they, uh, that's a good one. All right, listen. Really appreciate it. So, you know, keep in touch with us. We'll stay on top of this. And um, I'm gonna have Chad call your your guy and uh, and get the name of the uh, person who wrote that for the textbook because uh, we could probably do some research and find out you know if we should be shocked or not. Maybe he works for the group Care. Who the heck knows? Um, Florida Representative Rich Workman. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye, sir. Thank you. You take care. All right. Look, folks, this is insane. Again, if, they, if, they, if this was a religious education and they talked about each religion, fine. But Islam is the religion. Islam is the great religion. The other religions, Judaism, Christianity, you know, that pfft.